Nice and clean, the engine cover is off. You could actually see the engine now. What's up, what's up? I'm Rebuilder Guy, and I recently completed this 2014 Super Air Nautique 230. It was wrecked, it was flooded, but now it's ready to hit the water every single day. I even went out and picked up a used trailer. Check out those sweet, sweet rims. This thing is pretty. So I was reading your comments throughout this entire rebuild process, and the consensus was I need to do a cheap or budget wakeboardable boat. And that's exactly what I did. I went to the auction and I picked up the cheapest V-Drive money can buy. It's a 1999 Mastercraft Mari Star. It's a 21 footer and this thing is going to be fun. Before we talk about how much I paid for it and before I talk about the damage and I show you how much work is, needs to be done, let's talk about today's sponsor. Cove commuter Bluetooth speakers. This thing is awesome. Feels great in your hand, lasts eight hours. That's an entire day of music playing. This thing is pretty cool. The sound coming out of this thing, you won't believe it. This dial right here, I think is my favorite feature. And also up top, you can swipe your songs, even if your phone is being charged, like that happens to me all the time. This sub here, throws out a pretty good base. And if you're like me and you're always looking for a good deal, I got one for you, 65% off. Link down below. Use coupon code REBUILD65. Let's check out this damage. Starting from the front. Man, what's the deal with my janky trailers? This is the second one. I think I'm gonna use the Malibu trailer and put it underneath this boat. I think it's gonna work a little bit better. Here in the bow, the seats are pretty nasty. Got a lot of cleaning to do. Port side glass is destroyed. Same thing with the starboard side. The tower, I guess from the damage, just literally sat straight in. And this fiberglass looks like it's an older design. I don't know, I've gotta do some research. But I think I'm just gonna hit up my man Jason at Marine Clean. You guys know him, the guy is super awesome. I think he's gonna be able to knock this out here as well. Got some damage. Since this boat is going to be uh, on a budget, we're going to go aftermarket everything. So companies that do towers, that do bimini tops, glass, speakers, I mean, anything and everything boat related, hit me up down below. My email is there if you want to be a part of this project. Uh, here on the back side, we have some upholstery damage. This engine cover is pretty bad. We'll get into the engine here once we get the entire interior pulled out and uh, hopefully clean this thing up to see any more damage. Here on this side as well where the tower mounts, also pretty bad. Got some spider cracks here in the front as well. That's pretty bad. But I mean, for the amount of money I spent on this boat, this is nothing. This is gonna be a cakewalk. I don't know how what we're gonna end up doing with the actual panel that goes on the bottom here, but we got some damage here as well. And I believe we got some underneath. There's a pretty good gouge. Gotta let Jason know. And that, sw that swim platform that sits here is completely removed. I'm probably gonna get that uh, teak platform. I think that would be really cool. And uh, eventually, once we get once we get this thing up and running, I want to weigh this thing down and I want to see if I can surf this boat because I think that would be really cool. Let's pull out all of this interior. Let's jump in inside, look at that engine, and I'll tell you how much I paid for it. Maybe even get this thing started today.
she sure does clean up nice. Check this out. Looking nice. Hey Vic, can you go ahead and shut that speaker off? It is so loud, it's obnoxious. But that's what makes it a good speaker. Oh, look at this, nice and clean. The engine cover is off. You could actually see the engine now. Ah, oh, she's pretty. And this is the good engine from what I'm told. If it has the distributor, it is good. It's 5.7 V8. Thing's gonna be pretty beast on the water. The carpet in here is pretty disgusting. Still need to clean it up a little bit. Here, the, the cushions look pretty good. The transmission, fluids have been changed. This boat has been flooded, but you know, we got that good luck when it comes to flooded engines. We're gonna go ahead and try to start this thing up right now. Look at this. This thing is looking pretty good already. We got a lot of room for ballast. I don't know if I'm gonna go the traditional route. Why is this thing not opening again? But I'm also in the to in talks with a company that is telling me I don't need that much ballast that I'm thinking. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool system that I'm, I'm definitely considering putting on this boat because I definitely want to surf this thing. And I also need to get uh, cruise control because uh, I can't, can't be doing this. Everything is looking mighty fine. Okay, the number you've all been waiting for. I know you're not gonna believe me, so I'm gonna attach a picture on Instagram. Go there, at RebuilderGuy, and you'll see the proof from AutoAuctions.io. I paid 350 bucks for this thing. That is ridiculous. That is cheaper than I've ever seen a boat sell or, or a V-Drive sell at auction. That is awesome. All right, let's see if this thing starts. Spotter number one, you ready? All right, Vic, hit the water. Let's turn this thing on. None of these tacks work either. All right, we're good. Ready? All right, here we go. Blast off. Ooh, V8 purring. RPMs are kind of high. You got water coming out of the exhaust? Settling down. None. All right, water's not being pushed yet. Give it a second. Give it a second. Hey, Vic, how is it? Connected pretty good? Okay. Let's see if we've got any temperatures. Everything is down. At least the RPM gauge is working. Oil pressure is okay. A little bit bumpy, but that's fine. Let's see what we got here. Let's turn off the nav lights. Okay. You got water coming out yet? No water. Okay, I'm wondering if the impeller is in. All right, I'm gonna shut this off. All right, we know it started. Okay, so that's important so we don't run it too hot, too long. Okay, this is the budget $350 boat rebuild. Guys, don't expect constant updates on this. I'm gonna take it slow. I'm gonna do it right on this one uh, with budget in mind so if you know any companies that are interested in being a part of this rebuild let me know and also this speaker this cove speaker vic what do you think about this thing man it's good speaker good that's exactly good what, Tim, what about you man what you think man i use the crap out of 
That's awesome. <laughs> Rebuild 65, code down below. Save yourself 65%. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and sharing. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.